Hi everyone, just a quick video on Starter Motors, what's happening inside it and how to bench test it. So uh, up to the 1970s was an inertia type starter motor which is not really used anymore uh, and this was the one that came along in the 1980s and it's a pre-engaged starter motor. It's quite easy to tell it's a pre-engaged starter motor because it's made out of two major parts. You've got the starter motor solenoid and then you've got the DC starter motor itself. On the back of the solenoid you've normally got two terminals, you've got one here for the uh, signal wire so that comes from the ignition barrel or the start button. So when you turn the key, it sends a small current uh, through here, uh, just enough to energize the uh, electromagnet within the starter motor solenoid. When the uh, starter motor solenoid uh, does get energized, what happens is it creates an electromagnetic field and it pulls a plunger backwards. As it goes backwards, it does hit a pair of contacts here. I'll come back to that in a second. What it also does, it pivots a, a rod out and what the rod does is it pushes out this starter motor pinion. So this pinion comes out and what it does is it locks into your flywheel and then that cranks the engine from the bottom uh, and then it will disconnect again. Uh, it comes out on a spline, so it comes out on a twisted um, helical gear, which means as it comes out, it comes out a little bit smoother and a little bit softer. So when it hits the flywheel, it doesn't damage it as much as just hitting it square uh, straight on. Uh, and that increases the longevity of the flywheel and the starter motor and that's why it's called pre-engaged because this all happens before the motor starts. So there's pinion gear there. So once it's had the signal and the solenoid's energised, those two uh, contacts that it then hits allows battery voltage and high current to come down this cable across the back of the starter motor solenoid and then through this uh, connecting wire here which then powers the DC motor and that's when the motor starts to spin and the, the pinion starts to spin. So it's just that short delay pe period for uh, longevity of the component and the flywheel as well. So um, how do we test one? Well, quite easily really, because the starter motor is bolted to the engine and the car's got a, a body earth. So the, somewhere on the engine, there will be a return wire back to the chassis and back to the battery. So all we need to do in this case, I've got a DC, I've got a battery pack here. All I'm gonna do is clamp uh, the negative onto the body itself, just make sure we get a good contact. So I'll try and get that pinion gear in sight for you. And then the positive one, I'm going to put onto the wire to um, replicate the battery. The battery packs off at the moment, so I'm just going to clamp that on there. Because I've piggybacked the signal wire straight into the terminal from the battery, they're both going to happen at the same time. Normally, obviously, there'll be that delay period between the starter motor solenoid and the starter motor. Uh, working but for this test you need to bridge the two terminals here and here together so I've done that by piggybacking the wire because this is off a, a scrap car but you can just bridge it with a piece of metal a screwdriver something like that um, so you're getting the signal and the uh, battery voltage at the same time so I'm going to turn on the battery pack and hopefully this starter motor will work obviously before I do just mention make sure your contacts quite clean for your earth that's might um, might stop it from working this test. So here we go. So we go. So the starter motor solenoid energizes, and then it powers up the DC motor, and the pinion gear comes out. Here we go again. Hopefully. Starter motor would normally only run for a few seconds if it's running longer than that. It doesn't particularly like it, but again, this is off a door of the car, so it's not a problem. One more time. You see that jumping in and out? That's the solenoid bit. That's the solenoid bit there. And then the actual power. And that's how to bench test it. So the negative lead on the body and the positive uh, across the battery feed and the signal wire. Hope that makes sense. See you in the next one.